And I am so excited. I am thrilled actually right now because I want to bring in our special guest here this half hour. I am honored to meet Aaron Likens, and you are the official IndyCar Series flagman. And I'm, is I, am I saying that right? Uh, starter would be the more appropriate okay. term, but okay. when you say starter, people think you're actually in the race so often. So <laughs> flag or flagman seems to be the more popular term. Am I holding the <laughs> actual checkered flag right here? You is are. It? <gasps> that is so exciting. So teach me how to, give me a so, quick tutorial. Uh, to start off, if you can just master the okay. figure eight, All right, you're figure do, eight. doing good. Okay. And there might be a couple years of practice to go from you know, a simple right. thing to maybe what you'll see on race day at the start of the race where you yeah. really yeah. let it. Woo! <laughs> you really make it loud, like you're whipping it. Yes, my parents <laughs> uh, knew when I was awake at home, uh, being involved in racing was something I always wanted to do and set of flags made good practice. I, I tell you, you have such a flair for it because I mean, this was all I was going to do. <laughs> that, that was amazing. You've set the bar very high. This is a passion for you that you've had since you were a child. Yes, uh, I grew up in Indianapolis, about a mile and a half from the Indianapolis Motor oh. Speedway. So yeah. that might have helped fuel my passion. Mm -hmm. But growing up, I had two heroes. One was Alan Sir Sr., four-time winner of the 500. And oh. my other hero was the then starter or chief starter or flagger of the Indy 500, Dwayne Sweeney. Nice. And and now you're an inspiration to so many people as well, not only because of what a great job you do, but you're also raising awareness uh, for people who are on the autism spectrum. Yes, yeah, so I got diagnosed with Asperger's, now autism spectrum di diagnosis at age 20. Yeah. So it was way later in life, which mm -hmm. might have been, uh, we on the autism spectrum can have areas of special interest. So. Mm -hmm flags and motorsports probably was most certainly mine but um, was involved in motorsports but found my other true calling uh, raising awareness understanding for those on the autism spectrum mm -hmm. when I r learned my diagnosis at age 20 my doctor and many doctors back then didn't really know what it was he gave me the diagnosis and told me well yeah bringing this here yeah you have Asperger's I don't know what to tell you um, good luck so, but you have you know, taken that and, and shown people that you can be just a star. I mean, you are a star. And, and on a day like today, Aaron, we're going to be watching you all weekend long. Watch for this green flag because he's got, as we're going to weather here, I want you to show everybody your moves while I, 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 I segue because he is so great to watch. A nice breeze is not going to stop him from whipping these flags around. Let's check in with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Mike Taylor of what we can expect weather-wise today. Aaron, thank you very much. Thank you.